How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the Rank 4 Guillotine Gameplay video uh, where we're going to take you through some content and uh, show you what she can do. Um, I love this champion and I already set up a team for her. So this is what the team looks like and what it gives her, basically. Why does my thing go dark? Basically, it extends her, um, the synergy extends her bleed um, duration and the accuracy by 20%. We've got a couple here that just boost her attack and her critical rating. Um, then we have one that... Um, with purgatory that allows her bleeds to be critical bleeds which is pretty good night thrasher um gives guillotine uh, 100 critical rating per soul she has and she gains those pretty quick so um that'll help a lot and then we have um just our new seven star venom here who's kind of the og synergy um team with her way back in the day when synergies really didn't do much but there she here he is with plus four percent attack and health so that's our team and we're jumping into the throne breaker event quest right away um, if you didn't know how this one works, um, guillotine basically just, I mean, it just doesn't make it a challenge. Um, so because she heals on every single one of her hits, um, and the node, um, is when a mystic attacker gains a region effect, it power drains the opponent by 10%. She can basically just power lock them permanently and gain furies permanently. So here, I'll show you how it works. Uh, here we go with Black Cat. You can just heavy real quick. That's two Furies already. And you can see she's just not going to gain power. We're going to go ahead and back her up into a corner. There we go. Let me see if I can get the parry off. And I'll show you what she can really do. There we go. And now you kind of just uh, heavy in the corner. Until you get to about two bars. Uh, I like to get to 15 souls. Heavy. Special two. And they're gone. So that's what it is. This looks way better when she's at rank four versus rank two. That's where she was before today, when I <laughs> before I took her up to rank four. Um, but besides that, I just love the champion. Um, I like her design. She has a cool armor. She's got the sword. She has some really long reach um, with her uh, attack animations and heavy attack animations, which is really cool. And yeah, no, just a really cool mystic champion. Very different from normal. Uh, mystic champions kind of like dragon man where she doesn't really rely too much on um on dealing with buffs oh he's done he's done oh ooh, ooh. yikes there we go um where she doesn't really do much with opponent's buffs um the only thing that she gets when the opponent has buffs is um higher chance to make them bleed which is good um, but she doesn't nullify or anything so that's just really interesting she's always been kind of a strange mystic champion Okay, we got Doc Ock next. And yeah, this is just what we're going to do. I think she does, if you want to get the most out of her, she needs to have like max sig just in case you run across a bleed immune opponent. You would have a 100% chance to uh, put a rupture on instead. And those count for your charges as well. And uh, so yeah, this is just kind of how it works. You kind of just walk through the quest and... Um, and yeah, that's it. I wonder, is there, there's no cosmic champions on this path, um, but we'll just finish it up and then we'll move on <laughs> to something else because this is just going to be absolute domination the entire time, just with how the nose and her abilities react. There we go. Danny Moonstar, is she immune to bleed or anything? I know some mutants have some weird stuff going on. No, I don't, I guess not. There we go. Oh, nice light intercept. She's popping off. All right, let's try what the, uh, let's see what the special one does. There we go. Damage reflection. She's losing 10K health. Actually, I can't even count it. I couldn't even count that. If someone wants to count it, go ahead. All right, moving on. Yeah, I mean, and she doesn't lose any health because she heals on every hit. She's, she's such a good champion for this event quest. I mean, probably the best champion for this event quest. Until you get to, uh, to the others. Okay. Shang-Chi. There we go. A couple of bleeds. He's already losing so much. There we go. And now we can just heavy in the corner. Put on these uh, bleed curses. And get to a special two. Launch it. And done. I think you get the point. I think I'm going to move on to some Act 6. Because <laughs> I think you get the point. Did I say Act 6? I meant Act 8. I meant Act 8. 
All right, so we're in Act 8.2. This is the fifth quest, and this uh, this path actually is a very similar path to what we just dealt with in the event quest. Uh, but remember, this is actually the in-game story content, Act 8.2, the highest content you can get to in the story right now. And it's very similar. She power drains because she gains regeneration effect every time she hits this guy. Um, she's not putting ruptures on because she's not SIG 200, but if I enjoy her enough, I might take her there. There's the rupture that we were looking for. And that acts like the same way, the same uh, effects as like a bleed. So there we go. She just smacking this dude up, absolutely destroying him. Healing back all her uh, missing health from that combo she took. There we go. And she'd be doing even more. Like I said, if I had her at SIG 200, she'd probably be uh, messing him up a little more with the ruptures, but that's okay. We gotta build up these souls again. Also, she's very smooth. She kind of has like the same, um, it feels like the same animation timing as Stark Enhanced Spider-Man with her intercepts. Because I can just, it feels like almost, uh, like I'm not even trying when I intercept with her. And actually, now that I mention it, with the soul charges, it's, it's kind of similar to, to Spidey where he needs to build up his, his charges. Except he builds it up by obviously evading and she builds it up by uh, smacking this dude up. He is light intercepting the okay there we go the crap out of me dude there we go yo he's a intercept god he needs to relax there we go <laughs> oh my gosh but yeah as you can see like she's clearly just effective in uh act eight she's fine in act eight we're gonna move on to vulture where we can actually get some bleeds off now and uh, if i play this right i should be able to heal most of my health back but we'll see we'll see do some heavies. Oh, what I meant to... So she can still put bleeding curses on opponents that are bleed immune. And then she can pop off and put ruptures on? Okay, now we're talking. Sorry, I had to restart the quest because I got comboed in the face to Vulture. Bro, want to start off on blockable. I mean, that is what the quest says. It says they're going to start off on blockable. I just didn't. I was trying to parry. Anyways, but good thing we had to restart because now I figured out um, that that is a thing that she can do. She can uh, put ruptures on, put bleed curses on still, even if they're bleed immune, and then pop off with ruptures. That's so good to know. That's what I wanted to know um, because now that I know that, I might take her to SIG 200. My baby is popping off as well. There we go. Yeah, her at SIG 200 would be so much fun. You would never have to worry about bleed immune champs. Just rupture immune champs. All right, we got him where we want him. Oh, he's donezo. Oh, man. Should have picked a different path. Should have pinned. Oh, there we go. Special 2. I'll see you later, Vulture. Act 8.2, by the way. Remember that. Remember that. Pop some energy here. All right. Moving on, moving on. So she's... Still at full health here. Moving on to the next opponent. She's super simple to play, by the way. I mean, you don't even really, you don't really have to pay attention to like how many souls she has, unless you, uh, until you need that unblockable special, and then you can pay attention. Um, there we go. After this fight, we'll find another path that maybe doesn't give her furies every single time. Um, she <laughs> gains a region effect, but look, this is just what you do with guillotine. You just heavy. See if I can get one more on. Boom, seven will work. And they're gone. Oh, wait. And gone. <laughs> 19 bleeds, by the way. 19 bleeds. All right, so here we are at Winter Soldier. And this will kind of give us just a more broad idea of what she can do. Just in like a basic fight. Um, so you're not seeing um, just Furies 24-7 on the screen from the note effects. Uh, I didn't realize Act 8 had that many um, note effects. And then you, you can also watch her have to deal with opponents that actually get power. <laughs> so, so yeah, that's a thing. So what I want to do is try to get him at a point like there where he's not gaining, where he's not throwing a special. There we go. There we go. I'm going to try to get to at least 10 here. 
and this will be a regeneration or uh, degeneration effect that she's gonna put on. We'll watch the we'll watch the special animation. Why not? It's pretty cool, I guess. Old school animation here. All right, so he goes down, and he's gonna be taking twenty one hundred a second from that degen, I believe, and then it gains um, duration per soul charge too. Now she has a really good reach with her heavy attack, like I mentioned, so it makes punishing certain special attacks and heavies really easy. There you go. Okay. Throw a special two here. Put some bleeds on. She still has that heal reversal um, that she had when from the OG um, days. Uh, I know that was kind of controversial when they buffed her. They like didn't they made it more of an ability accuracy thing than it was like a hundred percent flat like uh, region uh, reversal, but that's okay. There we go. And yeah, pretty standard fight here. But uh, gonna finish this at a hundred percent health thanks to the region. Which that region obviously comes in handy with a ton of nodes and stuff. Plus the bleeds for bleed vulnerability. Uh, and then ruptures if they are bleed immune. So really cool champion. Did take about two minutes um, to get through the through a regular fight. So just keep that in mind. Uh, and yeah. So yeah, that was the rank 4 guillotine gameplay. Um, I think I might sick her up. I don't know. I just got a bunch of extras from, uh, from doing the the uh, gauntlet twice and then do and then the legendary event crystals i think gave me some so i just have a i have a i have a decent amount of them um but we'll see we'll see there's a lot of six stars coming out that i just i'll probably need to save that for but yeah let me know what you thought about guillotine i really love the champion like i said i think the design is fantastic great looking champion fun to play smooth to play and uh, has a ton of uses in uh, the story um story and event quests um battlegrounds i don't know i guess we'll throw her in battlegrounds one day and see what she can do and um if it's like crazy good i will show a video on that um but yeah that's really it for this video hope you enjoyed y'all take care